2019, President Museveni launched a poverty eradication program, Emyoga. The program was meant to reduce the poverty levels among the youth through 18 categories of people including border border riders, drivers, saloon operators, farmers, artists, journalists, local leaders, and among others. However, the effectiveness of the program is being questioned after legislators found more than 130 million shillings missing from different accounts with allegations of kickbacks. Colin North MP, Dr. Samuel Opia Churi, has joined several local leaders in calling for some accounts to be frozen until an investigation into the matter is concluded. There are a lot of allegations of kickbacks, uh, of 1 million shillings paid, 1.5 million, 2 million shillings. It means associations who had saved later, wanted to access loan facilities, were not able to do so, just because of the kickback issue. They were also threatened that if you don't provide kickbacks, we will not give you the Mioga money in the second round itself. 56. 0.8 million was put into their account. They were supposed to get 50 million only. Where did the 8.6 million come from? Then in Kole South, we are having a problem. 100 million was put into their account. So what is unique with the leader's circle? Leader's circles in Kole district. The call follows a meeting with 320 association members from Kole North constituency. Kole North MP, Dr. Churi says that preliminary reviews of the different bank statements showed that more money had been withdrawn in the name of a particular association than was accounted for. 16 million shillings was withdrawn in the name of one of the associations, but the amount of money they actually received was 5 million, a difference of 11 million shillings itself. In some instances, the groups also reported allegations of kickbacks, where some were not allowed to withdraw money from their bank accounts and without the required clearance and receipt of a recommendation letter from the district commercial officer. Dr. Churi claimed that commercial officers connived with group leaders to embezzle the funds. You know, the district commercial officers are required to have been sending recommendation letter. We found that, you know, those were done, all those funds were authorized, their releases were authorized from the banks by the district commercial officers, and they participated in that process. And what is it that there was connivance with the circle leaders to withdraw and steal money from this from this circle account. For his part, the Kole District Chairperson Andrew Wang said government failed to develop mechanisms for protecting Emioga funds from being mismanaged. In, 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 the, in the formulation of the project itself, there were gaps. When they were formulating, they, 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 they are coming up with the project, there were gaps. They needed to have organized uh, the project in a manner that there were very many safeguards to control um, uh, uh, the aspects of, of, of uh, you know, money. The committee in their report has recommended the arrest of the district commercial officers and the resident district commissioner for failing to safeguard the funds.